Hello everyone, today we will conduct experiments with dry ice or a solid phase of carbon dioxide. At first we can look at how dry ice actually looks like. In our laboratory it's stored in these small cylinders. Dry ice can be taken with bare hands as long as you don't squeeze it as you can get frostbite, which isn't good for you. The temperature of dry ice is minus 79 degrees Celsius and is nothing more than a solid state of carbon dioxide. At atmospheric pressure, dry ice may be in a solid or gaseous state. To be in a liquid state, it needs to be in a strong pressure. Dry ice sublimates being exposed to air, i.e. change state from solid to gaseous without going through the liquid phase. If you put dry ice in water, it will begin to sublimate faster, especially if the water is hot. Also in this reaction, a beautiful mist is formed. If you add a liquid soap in the water, it will form beautiful bubbles, which can be taken with bare hands. Bubbles are filled with the same mist. It looks pretty impressive. When the bubbles burst, the mist comes out. All this look like magic. However, this is just a physical phenomenon. We decided to play around a bit and took a large beaker with very hot water and pour there a little bit of dry ice. Instantly the dry ice began to transform into gaseous state and formed a nice thick fog. Now let's look at dry ice reaction with magnesium. We took a ceramic grid and put a few pieces of dry ice on its surface. Then we put a bit of magnesium turnings in the center of the resulting structure. Once we have such a construction, we ignite the magnesium. Quite a vigorous reaction occurs at which magnesium reacts with carbon dioxide to form magnesium oxide and carbon. Oh. If we shove dry ice into the flame of a gas burner, it still won't melt, but it will simply sublimate faster. Also, let's consider a very interesting property of dry ice. If you put a piece of it on a metal surface, it will jump and rattle. Since the metal surface is warm, then dry ice sublimates very quickly on it and forms focuses of high pressure. Also, there is an interesting effect where dry ice starts to slide on metal surface due to sublimation. This effect is a reminiscent of air hockey. Additionally, dry ice has a musical property. If a piece of it touches metal object, you get a sound. You can even compose some melody. <laughs> <laughs> 